Mistreat my quarry that way. Better than deer hunting, Captain Blasco. These rascals here are slower, but they're smarter. Let's go. been married this morning at daybreak, a voyage for the honeymoon is in order, wouldn't you say? But if they reach the other bank of the river, they'll be in the territory of the Prince of Valverde, and out of your power forever, Don Ramiro. We'll catch them, Captain Blasco, this or that side of the river. <laughs>
You don't have to worry. No one will touch you. Don Francisco, I regret having crossed the line between our lands, but I request that you return these fugitives. What crime have they committed to be pursued so ferociously? The man is a farmer who's running away from the service of the king. The king doesn't force them. You sell them off for a hundred gold ducats a head. You have depopulated your farmland to send them to their deaths in Flanders. And the earth without hands will not give bread. When they're dying of hunger, I'll know where to send them. <laughs> your ominous threats do not touch me, Duke. I have no mercenary troops or captains of fortune at my service, but don't suppose you may abuse me. Never. Don Francisco, you are wise. The times have changed. And now we govern with force. Lay hold on those two. Duke, now you are going too far. Dona Blanca, after your stay in the convent of San Polar, you have returned more beautiful than ever. If my cousin Juan could be here, he would make you repent all your arrogant behavior. I'm grateful to Felipe and Dolores who gave me occasion to see your daughter once again, Prince. The two runaways are a gift for you, Donna Blanca. But why? A most negligible homage from an admirer. I wish it were a more precious one. A gift worthy of your loveliness. Duke, order your men to return to your boundary. Don Francisco, I think before long our lands will no longer need boundaries to divide them. <laughs> I kill him. <laughs> and the Flemish officers? Kill them. <laughs> and all the artillery men? <laughs> in fact, without me, I don't know how they can continue the war in Flanders. <laughs> Sorry, Carmen Tita, or the hero will catch a call. <laughs> Ah, uh -huh. fortunate the men who marry you girls. After many days of traveling, you've made a new man of me. Don Juan, it is we are grateful that you have honored us with your presence. Oh, we would be so happy if we belonged to the lands owned by your uncle, Don Francisco. The Duke Ramiro makes our lives impossible. Oh, remember, don't tell a soul of my exploits in the war. It's a military secret. <laughs> <laughs> Adios! Adios! My men are peasants and few. More adapted to times of peace than to making a war. And the hired mercenaries of the Duke of Medina could destroy them completely in a few days. And I want no bloodshed. I don't want the people of my land to suffer the consequences of an invasion. Blanca, God only knows how much I love you. And how gladly I would give my life if this would put an end to the danger of war. I have struggled to see that my people's lives might be peaceful, secure. And now... Don't worry anymore, Father. You can say to Duke Ramiro that I accept his gifts of betrothal. My child, is there already someone in your heart? Tell me. No one, Father. Please forgive me if I leave you alone.
No, Felipe, not here. And where then, if we can never be together? Are we or aren't we married? Uh, yes, but... Oh, Donna Blanca, quickly, go now. And when are we going to act married? Soon. You're in love with your cousin, aren't you? All right, we're down to Juan. Juan! Call out the guard! Is he here? They're announcing his return. <laughs> One doesn't have to know yet. I want nothing to mar the pleasure of his return. Help me now. The rose water. And, and a touch of powder. I don't want him to notice. To the land which will one day be yours. Esteban, open the granary and the cellars to the people. Today will be a fiesta for the return of my beloved nephew. I know Blanca will be happy to see you and welcome you back. Come. Let's begin preparations for the fiesta. dreamed of this instant for a whole year. The war has not changed you or your gallantry, Cousin Juan. No. But my long absence seems to have made a change in you. A year is a long time, Cousin. One can change a lot in a year. And now you wish I had never returned, right? Juan, we are truly filled with joy at your return. Not true, Don Francisco. There are some who can put warmth and enthusiasm only in letters. What's happened? I want to know. Blanca is to marry the Duke Don Ramiro. Is that true? The vows you've made? Your promises? What's happened? What's made you change? She wanted to satisfy my wish to preserve peace. Her wedding will spare us a war with Don Ramiro. Better a war than this sacrifice. Don Francisco. Tomorrow, my soldiers will be back from the campaign in Flanders. Let's arm the people and make a surprise attack on the Duke. All his people loathe him. I have given my word, and as long as I live, I will sacrifice anything to prevent the shedding of blood. I'm to serve as your personal valet. You're new around here, aren't you? I belong to the land of Duke Ramiro, until she and I made off for good. Who's she? Dolores. I'm married. In name, but not in fact. What kind of a story is this? Only the truth, senor. Not that I like it. Dolores has the honor to serve Dona Blanca, and she worries more for my lady's grief than she does about me. Dona Blanca is grieving? She does nothing but cry since she promised to marry Don Ramiro. Then, it's not her wish. She hasn't forgotten. Felipe, stay by my side. And if all goes as I hope, I promise that you can spend this night with your Dolores. <laughs> you must be a miracle maker.
Good night, Donna Blanca. Good night, Dolores. you make me suffer? Make me think that you had forgotten. Juan, I couldn't possibly forget you. My heart could not belong to you more completely. I, I did not want you to know so abruptly, but my heart betrayed me. I know I was cruel to you, but do you know why? I would rather die than hurt you, but I love my father. Your unhappiness is something I can't stand. No, Juan, there's nothing we can do. You know my father. He loves me. But he is convinced that the well-being of his people weighs more than our sentiments. Then you'll come away with me. Now then, Felipe, are you coming or not? Impossible. I am a sentinel. You insisted so much that we begin our honeymoon, and now you only... I know, but now I'm under orders not to move. Oh, hide, hide yourself. <laughs> what have we here? Uh, I'm going to my room there. Going around you? And your husband, where's he? Him, that drunkard. Sleeping it off somewhere. He neglects me, just like I didn't exist. <laughs> ah, I'll come oh. you to your room. Shall I? Shall I, Dolores? Mm. Oh, you beautiful. Oh. You lovely creature. Let her go! No! No, Felipe! No, please, no! wanted to do this, Don Francisco, but there was no other alternative. Running away like burglars, like two thieves in the night. Don Francisco, I have always respected your daughter. Yet you're preparing to run away, casting scorn on the name of Valverde, which one day would have been yours. And in my delusion that you would be the son that God denied to me, you betrayed me. Don Francisco, I know that to you our love doesn't seem important. But please do not give in to Don Ramiro. There shall not be a war. I am determined that my people shall not suffer from your selfishness. And for this, you are ready to sell your own daughter. What if you think that is true? Kill me. Juan, from this moment on you are no longer part of my family. You are banished. You will leave this castle immediately and never return.
As a fish, you're pretty lean to feed a tribe of gypsies. I would say that your pockets are as underfed as you are. Probably we should kill you, at least we could use your skin. Palomita has a new way of turning leather, and he would like to experiment with it using your skin. Assuming he's able. Anyway, I have plans for making a good luck charm out of his head. Of course, we could always string you up on a tree and then cut a rope. I had an idea that a beautiful woman would also be generous, but you disappoint me. We'll see if that's courage or only gallantry. Set him free. I prefer my men courageous, and I will give you a chance to escape. Hercules! You will fight against Hercules. If you survive till the sands run out, you'll have your freedom. Welcome in a gypsy band like ours. I thank you. It's kind of you to welcome me. But remember this. I will never betray my own code of honor. No one will ask you to. Now we are one of us. I knight you in the order of the forest. There. Fiesta! 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 And these are my subjects. Once there was a king whom I loved. Now he's dead and they obey me. Will he be hunting? That may be. But that felt a lot like a fishing net to me. You have a lot of imagination. Surely why not? But let's find a place where you and your men can stay tonight. 
Felipe, I wonder what happened to him. He's right over there, making friends. It's kind of you to invite me, but even with a ladder, I wouldn't go up there. <laughs> it's a bit high, but it has all the comforts of home. When you're actually up there, you'll feel more secure. Palomito? Yes. Ready, Hercules. <laughs> One, two, three! <laughs> Come on, Felipe. Ha! Ha! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you made it even without a ladder. Let's go inside. You may go. There it is. We've stripped my vaults and cellars of whatever little remained. Once you've been married to Donna Blanca, you won't have room enough in your cellars for all the treasures which will come in her dowry. Might as well let that go, too. I'll get it back a thousand times. Ruiz, put all the presents together to carry to Donna Blanca. You wish me to go along? One moment. Maybe it's more useful to have you here than on the road to Valverde. Moreover, I want to discuss my plans for war. You're planning war? Even now, sir? Exactly. I propose to combine to advantage my roles as lover and warrior. for now. There's an obstruction on the road. Well, clear it out of the way and get moving. Exhausted from your journey? Or may we impose on your good nature, senor? One for the money, two for the cloak. Ha! 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 Off with your cloak! Isn't that a funny thing? He wears a shirt with Venetian lace. Bravo! Yes, he is. The gentleman has dropped his defenses. <laughs> Where's your sword? Better help him with his trousers. Then strip the coach completely. You can send the horses back to the castle. You're quite an entertainer. Did you ever think of going on the stage? Bit imbecile, I'm stark naked. Let me have your cloak. <laughs> Are you that happy? 
happy at the arrival of Don Romero's man. Oh, no, Donna Blanca. But it was so funny when I saw poor Don Ruiz. He's always so pompous. Someone had taken all their clothes away from them. <laughs> and my Felipe once told me that one of the best ways to disarm a man was to steal his pants. But don't you understand? This must be the work of Felipe. And if so, there must have been someone else to help him. Juan. So he wouldn't leave. You see? Don Juan and Felipe haven't forgotten you. You don't need to despair. Dolores. Be sure that I will have my men search all the country around to flush out these robbers. What kind of man was the leader? Did you hear his name? A devil, my lord. He was wearing a mask and a great cape of scarlet and a sword that betrayed his bad manners. We'll get him, Ruiz, and put him on the end of a rope. You wait and see. Captain. Huh? Oh, no. One thing I told you. This is the only one I had left, Senior Officer. Give him a dozen lashes to balance no, his no, account. No, please let me go. Either pay Don Ramiro or find out how you like working in the salt mines. Come on, come on, hurry up. All right, leave that here. His Excellency Duke Ramiro has plenty of soldiers to make you obey his orders. Hurry up with those sacks. Carry them over to the middle. Well, girls, which of you sweet young things is going to be the lucky one, huh? The must rider in the red cloak! Three pretty girls, huh? Here's the rest. Esteban, should anything serious happen to me and my daughter be in need of help, take this letter to the king. Blanca will become a ward of the crown and the lands of Valverde will thus be safeguarded. Esteban, no one needs to know. No word about Juan. Nothing, senor. Go. it's we who have found you. It's a very small world, huh? Seems too crowded to me at this moment. Bring him here. Better look at what's behind you. My dear Duke, it would be very easy now for my men to kill you, but I prefer fighting you as a man of honor, hand to hand. Go. Hurry. The next time we meet will be the last. The soldiers are coming! Come on, let's get out of here! Get back, get back. Get back. Hurry!
obviously outnumber us, and they're better equipped. But it is worth trying. No, they'll be waiting for us to attack. With their superior strength, they'd cut us to ribbons. They're prepared for force. We'll have to find a means to outwit Don Ramiro. You're not in a very good humor, Captain. What's on your mind? What's your plan, Don Ramiro? I'm a soldier and I can't forget. I'm glad you remember, Captain. And while I pay you, you'll obey all my orders. By the way, I wish you'd bring me that masked rider from my wedding present. We search for him all the time, but he's like a phantom. Bring him to me. I'll show you how to change your phantom into quivering flesh and blood. <laughs> ah, Sunset will find us at Castle Valverde. I must prepare myself to play the part of the happy fiancé. The most noble and most excellent Don Ramiro, Duke of Medina and Maracas. Respects to you, Don Francisco. Donna Blanca, my profound homage. But Duke, where are the friends you invited? Well, don't you see all the officers and men I brought here with me? I see them. And they look like they're going to war. Why? My dear Prince, I hear you've disowned your nephew Juan, leaving you without a male heir. Unless you designate your successor at the moment of your death, the lands would remain in the hands of a woman. That is, unless your daughter should decide instead to convey them to a lawful wedded spouse. But why wait for that? Don Francisco, if you care for your health, sign an act of abdication naming me as your successor. Never. Soldiers to all. I advise that you try to behave calmly. My soldiers have seized full control of the castle. Just listen. That's Captain Blasco, giving me the signal that the flag of Valverde has been lowered. The French are dead! You all saw it was a duel. Admit it. I drew only in self-defense. It frightened you. Coward! By these events, you'll have to remain in seclusion until after you've overcome the grief of your loss and granted your bridegroom rule over Valverde. Never in my life will you have Valverde. I would wish to be dead before that should happen. With time, you'll forget all these bitter feelings. <laughs> that girl could prove to be a problem to me. The village is yours until dawn, men. <laughs> Absolutely necessary to give the men liberty? Yes. It's part of a plan to let people know they have a new master. Captain Blasco, would you be shocked if I showed you how I punish cowards? Captain Blasco, these are the soldiers who were taken by surprise in the woods by a band of ragamuffins. They must pay dearly for this humiliation. They'll battle with whips to the death. The one who remains last in the saddle, I'll let go. But, sir, I'm their commander. It should be up to me to inflict punishment. My dear captain, must I always remind you you're in my employ? Ah, there goes our famous friend Ruiz. Don Ramiro, I've always been your faithful servant. Don't send me to the gallows. 
You won't have to go to the hangman, Ruiz. Console yourself. But they always need extra hands at the salt mines. And you may still have some muscle underneath all that fat. Take him away. to the defeated. Show generosity to the winners. about the death of your uncle and that Blanca has been held prisoner. The soldiers of Don Ramiro have committed every sort of violence in the village. He wanted to avoid war. He was willing to bargain his own daughter for peace. Don Francisco is dead, Juan. I'll have revenge. I'll never have peace until I succeed in liberating the land from that horde of assassins. What do you mean? In order to save Blanca, I've got to smuggle myself into the castle. But that would be foolish. There is a price being offered for the head of the Mastrada. And don't you see, someone would sell you. But I have to try. I can't leave Blanca in the hands of that monster. It must be marvelous to love somebody that way. Let me help you find some way to save her. And you would risk your life for me and for a woman you have never seen? But why? I know what it is to be a woman in love. And my man was killed without mercy. By Duke Ramiro? I suspect so. I will go with my gypsies to the castle and learn the truth. I will have to see Blanca and study the defenses. Then you must take action. I want to use this myself on the flesh of that misbegotten cavalier with the mask. First, we'll have to catch him, though. You don't have to worry, Captain. We'll catch him. He's become so imprudent that very soon he'll fall into my trap. He mustn't get away. I want that bandit alive. But this wall of silence that protects him makes it very difficult. You'll find a way, then. Send them one by one to be tortured. Someone will eventually start talking. Uh, There's no time for that, my poor little Blasco. Aren't you a soldier? A soldier, sir, but not a torturer. And so, Duke, I request that I be removed from the command of your army. But you're not indispensable, Captain. I'll let you have your liberty. But only after you've captured that masked rider as ordered.
permission from His Excellency the Duke. I'll tell him what I want. To know your wish. Grant. May I remain here among my people? If you want, you could even have my most personal attention. Don Ramiro, I will do for you the dance of the Navajas, uh -huh. if you're not afraid. How could I be afraid of a beautiful girl like you, unless it was fear of your strange fascination? Beware, Don Ramiro. The magic knife in my dance will point one day at the killer of the man I loved. <laughs> I don't think that could be, but I'll be very pleased to watch you dance. But even more, I would like your company. Why don't you say this to your woman? Could you prepare a love filter for my fiance to make her change her stupid and arrogant behavior? And her past hatred turned to love for me? Take me to the woman. But if you want me to perform my magic, you must leave me alone with her. Captain Blasco. Accompany her to Dona Blanca and give orders that the gypsies can remain at the castle. Come. Dona Blanca, and Captain Blasco is bringing her inside the castle now. If only that woman could have some poison for me. Don't say that. If you killed yourself, you'd leave a free hand to Don Romero. What else is left for me now? Juan has gone away. Oh, they have killed him. Please excuse me, Princess. It's an order of Don Romero. Please. You are worth your Juan. What are you saying about Juan? Do you know Felipe? I should have guessed that you are Felipe's bride. Juan and Felipe are with my gypsies hiding in the forest. So I am here to help them find a way to rescue you. I don't want to fall in a trap. Aren't you being paid by Don Romero to torment me? I was sent by Juan. You were planning to be married at the sanctuary of San Pala, weren't you? Please forgive me. It was a dream we had told to no one. What was your plan? San Paolo is 50 leagues from here. You, Blanca, must tell the Duke that you wish to be married in that sanctuary. I married Don Romeo? You need only to pretend that you want to marry him. He expects me to use my magic to make you love him. That monster. You must pretend you are willing to accept him, so he will not suspect you. And will agree to marry you at San Paolo. During the trip, one of my gypsies will do the rest. Captain Blasco. The gypsy has made good her promise. She has brought me an obedient and loving bride. Present this to Estella. She has merited it. Too dangerous. It's too obvious a challenge. I want the truth, Palomita. If he was the assassin at last, I'll know it. Take this. Mm. 
go and be prepared for trouble. How beautiful you are. Even if you look sad with this mantilla you wear. It makes you seem different somehow. Almost as if you were in mourning. What do you know of mourning? I have encountered death many times on the battlefield. It has passed close to me, brushing my cheek. Like this? No. You are like life for me. And perhaps my last chance. You have a good and generous heart. Why do you serve so despicable a man? Because I'm a soldier. But in a few days I'll be free as soon as I've completed a mission. And then I'll come to you in your camp. Take this. This is a gift from Don Romero. Not death. Give me something of your own. What could I give you? I'm just a poor soldier of fortune. I will wait for you. The knives have enclosed you in the circle of a magic vendetta. It's you who murdered the man I loved. Which? Arrest that sorceress. Oh! <laughs> 
I'll help you in San Juan. Go, I command you. true motive for your coming to the castle. The knives have answered you are an assassin. Tight, tight, tight. Don Romero. I didn't think you'd find this sort of thing pleasant, Velasco. I don't. You told me that you don't like to watch torture. May I suggest that you consider my idea? What is it? Well, I know what gypsies are like. She would probably die, but never open her mouth. I don't care. We might as well make an example of this one. We'll burn her alive. The cavalier with the mask. It might be that he's involved somehow in this strange affair. If you would let me watch her, I have a feeling we'd find him right away. You want me to set her free? No, Captain. Then have her confined in the castle. Spare her the ordeal of torture. It's a very generous act which might put her on your side. If you want to risk your future on a go, but if by dawn next Monday you've not delivered me the cavalier with the mask, that delicious body will be consigned to the flames. I promise I'll do my best, sir. Well, let's despair, Donna Blanca. The gypsy has been taken to the Great Hall, where Captain Blasco will question her. And if they torture her, and make her talk. I was watching, and I kept my ears open, too. No one will get a word out of Estella, particularly not Captain Blasco. What makes you think so? <laughs> the captain is madly in love with the gypsy girl. How did you save me from the torture? Don Romero has repaid a debt. Once long ago, I saved his life. You should have let him die. Mm, you're right, he's a monster. But now, if I left, it would jeopardize our future. Besides, he pays the soldiers very well, and they're all faithful. What could I do alone against him? I love you, Blasco. And you must believe in our future. Listen to me. If you were given enough men to make an attack on the castle. If I put you in contact with a cavalier who hates Don Romero even more than we do. And please? Here he is. What's happened? Estella has sent me to warn you. I didn't want to leave her, but I couldn't... We won't abandon her, Hercules. Round up the men. You'll go, too. Don Juan, I'm in more pieces than my guitar. Hurry. Uh, Juan. They are arriving. Who? 
Soldiers, many on horseback. They're coming by the secret path. They'll be here before dawn. Sound the alarm. We must stop them before they discover the village. Watch out now. Ah, so you organized this reception committee. Let's go. Juan! <laughs> that lively there. It will take a big fire to burn a witch. So, Malagito, put soap on a rope. Master Goa, I'll bet my pay that Captain Blasco will never bring us the neck of the masked rider. Then we'll make that gypsy girl dance in the air instead. Like so. <laughs> <laughs> Juan, your idea is really crazy. I don't see how we can possibly convince him. Blasco, believe me, there is no other way to save Estella's life than to go myself. But your death will not serve any purpose either for you or for her. There must be another solution. No, we'll have to risk it. Duke Ramiro doesn't know who I am. And if I get the chance, I'm going to try to convince him that I can be more useful to him if I'm alive. Blasco, the sun is about to rise. You'll see that we can carry it off. Let's go now. They're waiting for you. I have given Captain Blasco the opportunity of saving you. But he has failed. Here comes Captain Blasco. No, you don't want to go there and watch you die. I beg you, Dona Blanca. Let go of me. What can I do? There must be some way I can help her. Juan! Manuel. Ma 
I promise. The gypsy can go. And don't let me catch sight of her on my land. So we meet again. Finally, I seem to have the advantage. And this time I want to know, who are you? Someone who might be useful to you, Don Ramiro. Uh, more use to the devil. But living, I'd be worth much more to you. It's a little too late for you to enter my service. If that's what you were proposing. Run! Run! My love! Wonder Valverde! You wanted to make a fool of me, eh? Thank you for your assistance, Donna Blanca. And so, mysterious stranger in the mask and cloak is your cousin, the man you love. Leave it to me. I'll make you die little by little till you pray for death. I wouldn't advise it. If you're smart, you'll do away with me quickly. Devil, I'll break your insolence. But for that, I'll have to have you alive. Bribe the Chief Jail and let me see you. Don Ramiro no longer trusts me. And Blanca and Estella, what about them? Estella has gone back to her people, and Blanca has kept under lock and key in her own apartments. Tell me everything, Blasco. Don't try to spare me. Juan, tomorrow the King's envoy arrives. And Don Ramiro has demanded that Blanca consent to the wedding and grant him sovereignty over her lands in exchange for your life. That monster. It was this he was saving me for. Blasco, you have to reach the king's envoy. But even if I succeeded, what good would it do? What good is a captain's word once he gets in touch with Duke Ramiro? Wait a minute. There's still one possibility. Before reaching the castle tomorrow, the envoy of the king must make camp at sundown at the river, on the borders of the duke's land. Lieutenant Serrano, why have you brought me here to this water? I am the envoy of the king, not the grand admiral of the ocean. One more little moment, Excellency. I have the honor to announce that we have been able to find strawberries. Ah! <laughs> How many? The little bitty ones, perfumes? From the forest, Ah! They were brought to the camp by some gypsy girls. Beautiful, firm ones? The strawberries or the girls, Excellency? The strawberries, Lieutenant! The strawberries! The strawberries! Ooh. <laughs> what a party is this! <laughs> Good food! Stop eating like a pig! <laughs> Give me some more wine! And some more food! Come on. I love the little I love the little Come on, let's take a look. Hmm? The strawberries, Excellency. Ah! Oh. <laughs> they uh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The sleepy boy will act quickly. Tomorrow I'll feel strange, and for a few hours he won't recognize his own man. <laughs> Come, to your health. And you have. Let's go.
comfortable trip, I hope, Excellency. Ah, Don Ramiro, no. But what's that gloomy thing doing there? I thought it was Fiesta. I was to have hanged a highway robber. Uh -huh. But I pardoned him on uh, the occasion of my marriage. Ah, uh, laudable initiative. And I'll mention this to His Majesty. Uh, too kind. Herman, accompany His Excellency to his room. Thank you. Oh. Master Goa. A little dizzy. I, I almost feel I've never seen you before. It was the strawberries, Excellency. Oh, don't talk to me of those unfortunate strawberries. They seem to be fermenting in my veins. Ah. Everything is ready, Excellency. And where do you keep her, the King's ward and your future spouse? Here she is. Ah. How beautiful. Yes. Really marvelous. I've never seen you so lovely. Come here. on you not to raise suspicion in the king's envoy. Once you've signed the papers, you may pull the cord at the head of the stairs. It'll ring the bell in the courtyard and give the signal to the hangman to give Juan his liberty. Come now. Pray with me, my son. Make it quick, father. Because when that bell rings, I have orders to send your client to his creator. Do you want to make a poor Christian die without the comfort of a confessor, good hangman? Oh, certainly not. But there are so many of you. You are right, hangman. But his faults, too, are many. I, Donna Blanca, Princess of Alverde, hereby declare that I freely abdicate in full knowledge of my actions, my sovereign power, in favor of my lawful wedded husband, Don Ramiro, Duke of Medina. Donna Blanca, are you ready to sign? Thank <laughs> you. 